Namaste and welcome. My name is Neeraj. In my previous videos, I had predicted about uh, global economic crisis and also about the uh, Canada situation, what happens in Canada in terms of economic slowdown from July 22 to September 2023. If you haven't seen my video, please do check out. I had also given tentative date ranges for when that could happen. So, so whatever you're seeing in global financial crisis, specifically with SB Bank um, in, in, in US is going to have a uh, like a s snowball effect across the globe and uh, I just wanted to have a follow-up video on my previous videos around Can Canada predictions for the, and the economic crisis predictions uh, for Canada was more around July 22 to September 2023 time frame we are already seeing the signs and I had told in my previous videos around that mid-feb to starting of March is where you will see the economic slowdown more specifically and it again starts from let's say 17th or 18th June and can go up to October 2023 time frame and there is again a significant risk of uh, uh, things like earthquakes, um, natural disasters, even uh, even economic crisis or global slowdown for that matter. So this is just a follow up video. I just want you all my followers to also know that the SVB bank crisis and there are two other banks in the line and there are a total of seven banks I guess which are nearing bankruptcy in the United States. It will have a global impact. Uh, I think um, you have just seen SVB Bank, uh, the UK branch was sort of taken over by one pound, if you will, and then that is going to continue. So there is a crisis that we are going to see in small and mid segment banks across the globe. Specifically, it will start from the West and it will slowly hit the developing world and those economies. But those economies may not have that much impact, but uh, specifically West and the European countries will have a major uh, slowdown from this. You can expect the small banks um, lending people or people who are into the business of unions or anybody giving credit or uh, in terms of monetary aspects will actually see a lot of mergers and a lot of them can actually go bankrupt overnight uh, which is what we are seeing today with SVB bank crisis and everything that we are hearing from the United States of America and then uh, the common man will basically be, will be wiped out wiped out and this is all headed towards uh, like a kind of you know break the middle class and make them poorer and then bail out obviously there will be bailouts followed by that in terms of the larger banks or the top five enterprises in your country uh, i'm talking about more specifically the western part of the globe which is u.s canada uh, to start with canada could see uh, some movements later down the year may not be immediately impact from u.s but my best assumption is that and again from astrology standpoint there is a lot of trade dependency between canada and the u.s if i'm not guessing wrong 60 percent and above of Canada's trade is between uh, is like exporting goods and services to America for instance so you could see that being slowed down uh, mergers of the small banks lending institutions and then because they are obviously the, there is no insurance for the deposits done I think Canada has hundred thousand dollars deposit insurance and this is called CDIC and US may have a two hundred fifty thousand dollars up to that can be insured but again it will be like large commercial banks which will be saved let's say bailed out in other words in, in uh, treasury terms but others, uh, other small banks may not see that. So people will basically rush to take out the money and expect a major sell down in the economy. So we were selling assets, especially shares, uh, stock market, bonds and all of that can go, go for a crash. Now these are again situational astrological predictions. Um, I am not into any kind of stock market advice or any um, analysis part for that matter. Again, just looking at the planetary positions, like more, more or less the things are destined the way we see that. It is headed in that direction. Um, education system also I have spoken about in my previous videos. You will, we are already seeing the the effects in the education system globally. Obviously, people um, getting poorer or, or cutting down on spending will have a impact on school system. The policies that are being made, the curriculums that are being taught, because they will not be relevant, like I said in my, in my previous video, because people will want to know why are we sending our kids kids to school. There will be rise of changes in curriculum, the activities, um, the bank crisis, natural disasters, earthquakes, um, more of water-based movements, which is basically some uh, the water water feature, uh, like the segment in astrology is getting disturbed. So you can see more of tides, things like that. Um, maybe volcanic eruptions, if you will, and uh, that is like the, the earth component when that gets disturbed. You can expect that. There will be, of course, rise of national debt and, and uh, economic crisis that I have spoken about. 
the, the, it's just meant to warn you in advance you know that uh, small is not enough you'll have to reach to bigger banks wherever your money is saved and uh, obviously with the inflation going on um, your ability to buy something goes lower as you know already so i hope this video makes sense and makes you take a little better decisions in your life in some way um, i pray that uh, you'll be in good good terms in terms of economic uh, situation in your household i wish you all the best namaste